Older, I think, in every game so far. He's so. really good too. He is. Yeah. Older is very strong. good too. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm excited. I love Older too. I love Older's playstyle. I love his kit. Uh, he's just a he's a fun champion to play. But right on to it. The bands in pick stage. I'm really curious to see what, how Space Station also goes. And they're going to take out Ulrich. Yeah, after seeing Inflames play Ulrich last week, I w that makes a lot of sense. Inflame looked so good on that character. And the Rook ban, like I mentioned, coming out from the Beast Hunter, opting to target Proster instead of uh, Bloom or Pro uh, Verse. And uh, for this first pick, we'll see we'll see what happens. Jumong okay. getting locked in for the Beast Hunter. So we see Jumong for the first time today. He's been in the band list a lot in Thorn on the side of Space Station Gaming. Yeah, we have a lot of Jumong players over here. A lot of players in North America like playing Jumong. The Rook picked up for high there. That's like his specialty character. That'll be pretty cool to see. Uh, I want to see how this matches up with the Thorn. It's a matchup I'm not all that familiar with, and I don't know who comes out ahead. I think a lot of this comes down to like the Rook pressuring the other two characters, but that Barbed Husk, I could imagine, being very helpful against like the Rook trying to go in on an armor-broken target. Destiny also pretty good against Rook, simply because she can use her uh, space and use that mobility spell, turn into the ball and bump back the Rook yeah. and get him off of her. Um, so it can be pretty good in that way. Also, the Imprisonment, that EXE, is so good because you can hit Rook when he's like mid-charging and you can get a stun, and you just lock him in because he doesn't have an iframe that moves his location. That's a very important thing to have against Destiny's Imprisonment because if you have an iframe that just goes up and down, it doesn't matter. You're still in the Imprisonment. You still can't go anywhere. Yeah. So it's very hard to play against the Destiny. The Ulrich going to be picked up last for SSG and the Paloma for the Beast Hunter. Uh, we haven't seen Paloma in a little while, Jorby. No, we haven't at all. And uh, she's... A very interesting character, especially when you pair her with Rook, because Rook is very get in your face, but uh, Paloma is able to it just gives Rook more defensive, more defensive options, uh, more more things to more things to do. It gives Rook a little bit more leeway mm -hmm. in in how you play the game. I like uh, on the on the restriction side of things, Beast Hunter restricted out Oldor, and I like that, especially paired with Destiny. Oldor can be so damaging to a team that that combination is absolutely ugly. But Ulrich is it's so hard to when you're when you're banning out supports with because there's so many good ones right now. Oldor yeah. and Ulrich are, are two that are just, it's so hard to pull out one, but already we're gonna get right into the game. Dragon Garden Knight is our map, and the Rook already being aggressed on that counters proc. Very luckily for High there, but Averse on the Destiny, posting up against Dope and trading pretty effectively. Dope, he has those three weapon charges. He's thinking about whether he wants to recast, and he does. Look at that damage. Ooh. My god, Destiny, where's your HP? Goodbye. Hits the counter, trying to escape this. They're not going to let up the pressure. He's going to try to hit this pole. He does. But just there's no, there's no escape from this. Averse trying to get away, get some damage out. Now going to put pressure on the Rook. Rook's taking a lot yeah, of damage is, here. Yeah, hi there. He went in on that engagement, the 2v1 versus Bloom and Averse, and that did not go well for him. He's got no energy now. He chooses to go over to Proster. The Dead Roots is available. We got to look out for this here. This is a huge moment. It's used, but the other side is immediately available. He tried to make space for the orb, and it looked like Space Station Gaming were able to get that orb because of the Dead Roots. Destiny playing this really well. Up against Rook. Rook's going all in on it. Hythar wants this kill on a verse. He can't find it. Able to get the stun. It's a 2v1 again. He's in trouble. Pulva trying to bail him out. Does get him out of harm's way. Gets some more like healing this. in. A good turn. Good. good turn on Thorn. Yeah, that's exactly what they need to do. They can't have Rook trying to 2v1 this Ulrich, uh, Ulrich um, Destiny. The orb actually taken by the boulder. A beautiful job by High. There we see it there. Ooh. The imprisonment. It uses or it stuns High there mid charge, but the ancestral spirit is there to heal up High there. They need to kill this Thorn. The dragon. Slayer gonna hit Thorn from max range. Whoa. And the end cap, the end cap breaks the uh, alt cast from Thorn. Really nicely done, even though they don't find the kill. They finally pull down a verse, but hi there, he might get tunneled down by Bloom. The flick of the ultimate, and now the damage the other side is there. I love that from Inflame, making sure his Rook is alive. But hi there is like, no, I want right back in. The Thorn is going to fall, but Rook goes down at the same time. This is still very worth it, though, for the Beast Hunter. Absolutely, they're gonna take game one here against Space Station now. It this was great play by the Paloma. Paloma did so much. We talked about how, about how it's a good pairing for Rook because it just it frees Rook up to be able to be overly aggressive because she can bail you out. She gets that passive healing when when she has the link, able to able to heal you up no matter what. She doesn't even have to touch you, and that's exactly what happened. We saw Rook. It, Hythar got into a couple of one v two situations. One that was really unfavorable, and he took a lot of unnecessary damage, but then took full advantage, went in in a one v two, and actually got a lot of big damage off. And Paloma. Was was able to help him, heal him, bail him out, have the space on him as well, and that was just well played. 
Hi there. He eats that Entangling Roots mid-charge. He doesn't have a charge now. The damage is going to start to add up. Luckily, his counter's proc. He gets the energy for the eat. Oh, the triple M2, that's a lot of damage from that Rook. I thought doing work right now, going in. Jumon getting a lot of damage on the main oh, of God, arrows. Oh, God, good by Thorn. Dope had an ultimate before the orb had spawned. He used it to secure the orb. Beautiful play from the Jumong. This is looking like such a good pick this game. Oh, and Flames able to get out. Oh, God, that was dangerous. Destiny. Huge destiny. Averse is getting. Oh, that was dangerous. Averse uh, just oh. ignored damage. Oh, hi there. He has that M2, so he doesn't take any damage from that counter. He chooses Ooh. to go in even when he has no counter. This is so scary, but the Ancestral Spirit is there. This is looking pretty good for the blue team. They have a 10% HP advantage. The M2 from Averse going from across the map, trying to find something. That I rate of arrows is so much damage. And anything. the Rook ultimate going to kill Proster. My god, dope. The rare Rook ult, but they were all grouped up. What more can you do? That that Reign of Arrows had done so much damage. Jumong and Rook together combining for just insane amounts of damage. It's Space Station Gaming on their heels. Dude, that Jumong, that Reign of Arrows was insane. Yeah. We, we saw a couple times in this game where Space Station Gaming, because of the way Ulrich plays, just got too clumped. They tried to group around the older in EXQ so he could get the maximum amount of shielding and healing, but immediately what happens after is that Rook, he uses the M2, so they all eat that damage from the M2, or the Reign of Arrows is dropped, and then they just take huge damage over time. Such a beautiful draft from the uh, blue team, the Beast Hunter, taking this down with AoEs. And this is the difficulty with playing against Jumong because he has so much to kite against you, and it's so hard to kind of rotate and reposition yourself to try to get around Hythar. Hythar has just been bullying everybody, and because you also have Paloma supporting you like that, it is impossible to do anything. You try to rotate around, guess what? Jumong trap. You try to rotate around, guess what? Reign of Arrows. It's impossible to get by this squad right now in the Beast Hunter. Yeah, and the, the trap, like you mentioned, mentioned is so high value against the Destiny. Destiny can't roll through it. She has to be so careful, and it forces her roll, her key mobility spell, since she does not have an iframe, that ability and the repositioning it provides is so important. If you can burn it with something like a trap, it puts you so far ahead, and that's one of the reasons Jumong is so good against Destiny. Thorn trying to get in. He gets panicked out. Hythar finds a stun, but not able to capitalize on it. But there's a lot of damage coming. He goes right back in on Thorn, trying to burrow towards Paloma. Oh, not able to get a Ulrich. lot of damage there. A big stun, but oh, able to other side out of it. Ulrich gets annihilated. Just damage out of nowhere. And the Beast Hunter right now is firing on all cylinders. Yeah. A big ult coming out. Thorn's going to go down and turning on a verse. He's got nothing to do. He knows it's over. It's three to nothing, the Beast Hunter. Jorby, this is not how I expected this to go. Not at all. The Beast Hunter is looking so strong this draft. It seems like they perfectly prepared for Space Station Gaming, and they had an understanding of how SSG wanted to play. It's like they knew that the Destiny pick would come out, so the Jumong was prepared, and I can't help but feel like that's a little bit of sloppy drafting from SSG, especially when you're against Dope. This dude is known for playing Jumong. Yeah. You gotta be so careful about picking your ranged character, especially one that's uh, countered so hard by Jumong when you're playing against this team. Jumong just is one of those characters that you definitely need to ban out when you know you have someone like Dope on the other side. And or I think, just don't I, pick I, Destiny. I think SSG is kind of kicking themselves for that. Now. Yeah. I think they might they might realize that. And a lot of damage coming out on a first. Ulrich trying to Throws. mitigate that damage and maybe trying to prevent Rook from pushing in, but they have no angle to go in. Hythar <laughs> zooming in and missing out. Yeah, this could get a little bit scary, Ooh, but Hythar still cap. finds an in-cap. The orb's so important, and it's going to go to the Beast Hunter. Hi there, even in that imprisonment, managed to not take too much damage, but his counter wasn't procced here. The M2, the Dragon go. Player, going to land onto Bloom, is really di uh, disconnects them from Proster, and now Proster, out of no man's land on this left side of the map, is oh getting so low, Jorby. Yeah, and, and Hythar was just getting free M1s on top of it. He's just going to want to rush through, cancel, looking for the orb, but oh, a good pull by Space Station Gaming to confirm it. They gotta capitalize on this. They have the energy. They gotta move on this somehow. Regrowth on and on Thor. He's gonna try to oh, get on the Hythar. Pinball. The pinball, it hits Inflamed, but it puts a verse so far out of position. We'll he, push Pull him out. Oh, yep, Inflamed has to play so safe. He doesn't get that panic, which is really big. Paloma probably Ooh, going to fall huge. here. They do find the kill. They need to kill somebody in return, but they're not going to be able to get the kill on Proster because Burrow's alive and the orb is taken. Space Station Gaming has stabilized. The Thorn finally goes down, but still Bloom in a verse in this 2v2 looking so favorable simply due to the comp they have. And it's going to be difficult for Jumong to get out of this. Does throw out the double trap, and then Ulrich takes advantage as Brook leaves. And now it's just going to be Hythar chilling, eating some meat. And oh, oh maybe does he get the kill here? The counter. Good counter by Averse. So maybe thought it was a play there. Tries to get the rock. 
And that's going to be it right there. Able to confirm. So like you said, Space Station Gaming stabilizes. You do not want to go down 4-0. Beast Hunter was looking a little unbeatable there for a little while. Yeah, and you know, this is what we talked about earlier on. We talked about how teams adjust and how it's so important to be able to adjust with them. So now that Space Station Gaming have managed to take a round and they've kind of, they're kind of feeling themselves a little bit more, well, it, all of the pressure is on the blue team. It's on the Beast Hunter to try to continue on this momentum and continue on like taking these rounds or else they risk falling behind, especially a team that's a little bit more prone to getting frustrated. Yeah. If they lose another round or two, this could quickly just go in the favor of SSG. Space Station needs to find a way to isolate this Paloma again. That was the key to try to, to winning this game. They gotta find a way in again, and he's gonna try to find it here. Proster trying to go in, but it gets blocked right out. Hythar coming back to support. Wow. Big end cap up top onto Bloom, and Ooh. he continues the aggression. Bloom uses that R, but it's countered out. Hi there, playing this matchup incredibly oh, well, and Bloom has been isolated. The orb, it's taken by SSG, but still the HP is in favor of the Beast Hunter. The jukes from Hythar in this series have been awesome. Just every M2 perfectly timed, and now in trouble is Proster. Proster getting bullied out. Polo's actually taking a lot oh. of damage, gets pulled in. Ulrich just missing, other siding away. That was huge for Pulma to get out. Yeah, a nice panic onto Proster too. Buys inflamed a little bit of space. The dead roots is going to be used to try to get the orb, and it will. The imprisonment once again used on High there to try to keep him down and lock him in that space, and it does for a moment. But High there finally free, going to charge in. He has Ooh. to be careful. Ulrich, he's sitting no on counter. that ultimate. It's going to miss, however. But Ulrich, he goes right in to pick up that shield. Look at that divinity and Proster wow. on the other side of the fight, going to fall. These fights splitting up into a one v two often, and it looks like it's going in favor of the Beast Hunter right now. But they find the kill onto High there. Another two v two situation. Below oh, one and Jumong, the other side. He's used inflamed. A big weak point here. He might get ran at, and he does. But he is so close to getting out. Oh, the no panic! Inflamed. What's up, dude? And that's huge for Bloom because he now doesn't have a space. He finally has it again to heal up a verse. But still, the advantage is now in the Beast Hunter's court. This orb is important, and it's going oh. to go to Space Station Gaming. But still, the HP and energy is looking so good for the Beast Hunter. Oh. The counter's not hit. Destiny. If he hits a trap right now, okay, oh, that trap that could have been it. Yeah. That was so close. However, still, the Rain of Arrow is dealing quite a lot of damage. The EXM2, it goes out, but it's going to miss. Things looking so sketchy. I can't help but wonder if nerves are coming into play here for Dope. Well, now Bloom is just playing really well. Good spacing, keeping oh. it keeping it down, just bailing Destiny out twice now. Going back in. That was a dangerous, so smart. great play. Averse is so smart, dude. That counter placing okay. it right where the spirit was. Yeah. They need to find this kill here Ooh. onto Averse, but Paloma's going to fall. Unfortunate here is three orbs back to back going to secure Space Station Gaming this win. They found the kill onto High there in a moment where it looked like uh, the Beast Hunter would take the round, yeah. and then they took the 2v2. That was such a that was such a good play, too. Ulrich had himself, or Bloom had himself perfectly positioned. He's like, dude, Polima is up here, isolated. Just, just hit her! And then they just, boom, crossfire, done. A perfect, perfect target combination by Space Station Gaming. And again, we were wondering, how were they going to adjust? Because they were getting destroyed. 3-0, yeah. and now they fought back here within one game in this in this series against the Beast Hunter. I like what I'm seeing out of a verse right now. This one is definitely not over yet, though, because there's a lot of rounds left to be played. We'll see if the blue team is able to stay in there. It's looking pretty scary here is the Beast Hunter. Rook not able to find any room. Hi there. No value out of his charge, but he gets a Ooh. nice in cap there onto Proster, and the EXM2 from Dope gets some good, good damage onto Averse. A lot of damage on Averse right now. Yep. Averse is in danger. His counter's still down, waiting. Beautiful. They got that orb. And that was so big for the Beast Hunter to be able to secure that, that center orb, even though it was pulled by Proster. We'll see if they can keep up this momentum, Dorby. Rook's going all in. Ithar wants more damage, but he takes some damage instead. Going all in is Bloom. Bloom wants more. That rock, he avoids the rock, pulls. Rook goes in, oh. tries to get the kill. The counter comes in and gets more damage on Hythar. Hythar can't catch a break. Yeah, the orb, it's taken by the red team to the ultimate coming out. The dead roots, Proster trying to find the kill, and it's looking like he will as high there falls. The Jumong next to follow, inflamed all that's left, and it seems like the Beast Hunter are kind of slipping. I feel like we kind of saw this earlier with Space Station, where in the first few rounds, they were struggling and against Angry Face, and then all of a sudden it was just domination. And I, that's what we're getting out of this game right now. I feel like a lot of this is coming down to how the blue team is playing. It seems like Dope and Inflames are not being able to be the unit they were before because yeah. High there is taking these unfavorable trades. He's going in and taking a lot of damage from Averse, and then he tries to go back, and then uh, attention is needed from Inflames. Yeah. Inflames can no longer then babysit Dope and just enable the Jumong, and that's when things start to get really scary because the Rook can just require so much attention against something like a Death 
Destiny and a Thorn. They really need to be careful. High there can't take these huge punishes. In those in those first few rounds, they had pretty aggressive positioning and pretty close inflamed was the Hythar. We'll see how they can fight back here. A couple of traps. Can't find anybody. Dope's on those three weapon charges. We'll see if he's able to make anything work with him. They oh, want this orb. Damage. Doesn't look like the orb's gonna be taken, though. Oh, he gets it! He rushes in! Oh, no. Space he Station Gaming. Yeah, Bloom did wow. a great job holding his M1 and securing it, waiting for Hyde there to hit it. The pole coming out on Inflame, too, and this is looking really bad now. The Beast Hunter getting so split up. Rook getting bullied up top in between two characters, but a verse. The damage is coming out onto him. They need to find this burst. The other side forced onto Rook. Oh, Rook. Oh, he's able to bail out of oh, that. The beast trapped hunter. on the other side. Beast Hunter had a chance to do massive damage. Ancestral Spirit coming out. Does he get the damage out? No, they weren't able to find the lock onto Ulrich. And now in trouble is Jumong trying to get out of it as Dope. Dope's actually doing a ton of damage to Thorn right now, bailing him out. Oh my gosh, Inflamed is keeping Dope alive. Coming oh. back for some healing, and then that rock threw him out. Oh, that beautiful imprisonment, though. Averse recognized that the Rook wanted to charge onto Bloom, but Averse would not let him get his ally. Bloom likely could have gone down there, but the Rook couldn't go anywhere. Ooh. They need to find the skill here. A beautiful other side, but the pinball now comes out onto Inflamed. So much pressure coming out onto this back line. The counter's not rocked. The Rook is going to go down for the Thorn Might, too. The Thorn is getting so get low. Bloom, get that trait. Bloom spaces right back and helps out his ally with that EXQ. Not going to let him find the kill. And Proster and company are going to take round seven. Wow. Proster, Averse and Bloom right now. Four straight games, looking to take it right here. Beast Hunter cannot stop the bleeding. They are bleeding out against the Space Station gaming squad, again showing you why they are the top team in America. Yeah, and I think this one's all but over right now, Jorby. Yeah. I don't think this comes back in the favor of the Beast Hunter. Now that um, Space Station Gaming have won all four of these last four rounds, they have all the momentum, they've figured this one out, and I feel like the blue team definitely getting in their own heads at this point. It's tough, and, and, you, hit, and you hit it on it at the beginning of the last round. Hythar keeps finding himself in unfavorable trades and unfavorable positions. He kept getting pushed out at the top of the map where Paloma and Jumon couldn't get to him. Uh, Inflamed can't always be on Rook because there was so much pressure on Dope. So Inflames is in such a hard position when it comes to trying to support his team. And they're going to try again here to go win, but they need to find a more favorable position here for a Hythar. Yeah, I also noticed Dope, his traps have been very ineffective in these last couple rounds, not landing many of them. Trying to prove me wrong here with the Reign of Arrows getting a lot of damage. Oh, the Dragon Fire off. landing yeah, on it too. My god, so much damage onto Proster, and the charge is going to land immediately after. Jeez. How did he get his ult so fast and just charged right in? And Space Station down in this one. A big trap, going to do a lot of damage to Destiny here. That's going to be all she wrote. The ult coming out, going to do all the damage. And the Beast Hunter, stymie the bleeding. And we're going to game nine. As soon as we spell out their doom, the Beast Hunter come right back and tell us they're not out of it just I, yet. I mean, so... Yep. Dope just hit a sexy ultimate. He just like hit all his stuff. Yeah. Sometimes like when you're playing Jumong, it, just, work. it you, just works. Yeah. Sometimes you just hit every M1, and then you have an ultimate before the orb spawns, and then you get a double alt, and then and the round is just kind of over. GG. Yeah. Proster, he took so much damage from that. He tried to burrow away, but I mean at that point it's just kind of over. You know, like that one Dragon Slayer did like 90 damage yeah. over the over two characters, which is just so much. So much damage coming out from that ability, and like the snowball that rolls or gets rolling from that, just too much to handle for SSG. Now Beast Hunter looking to get this game back, looking for a 4-0 victory. Ooh, the counter, it's proc from high there, but he still hasn't been able to farm up that ever important first bar of energy. He gets it now, but things are looking pretty good for SSG as they have oh, good control pull. and they get the orb. That was a good pull by Proster, confirming that orb, and now in a little bit of danger is Hythar. He does get the counter hit. He's going to yep. do a lot of damage here to Thorn. Yep. Thorn yep. in trouble. Proster getting annihilated right oh. now. Could have two. Okay. He's going to push him out of the game. Now they're going to turn on Oh, that Dragon Slayer. It lands onto Bloom, and the armor break was there. Bloom and company getting so low. Averse not doing so hot either. The Beast Hunter, they're still in this one. This orb is so huge, and SSG get it. This is oh. their own, but Bloom goes down, and the Titans have been slayed. The Beast Hunter looking to take this game and post up first seed in Group A. Able to readjust and come back wow. huge. Dope balls out for his team. Huge ultimate wow. coming out. Huge plays by Hythar. Huge support from Inflamed and the Beast Hunter. 4-0 in Group this, A. This is not what I expected. I, I didn't, th in my eyes, there was no world in which this would happen. Like, them managing to take this game is so huge. Not only for, like, the mental aspect, like, these guys are definitely feeling themselves now. Even coming back when the game started to look pretty bad, and, and like, their 